Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. So today I am actually doing my makeup. Um, it's quite early in the morning and my oldest who is five is actually graduating from pre-k today so i got up really early this morning and decided to just kind of take my time do my makeup um, i needed makeup that worked well with glasses and that also just photographs very well wears for a long time so um, that's the look that we're doing today it's nothing like revolutionary but if you are a glasses wearer or you just need makeup for or like tips for uh, special occasion makeup or anything like that, long wearing makeup, then uh, hopefully this video will be helpful. But really, I'm just sitting down and getting ready with y'all and just chit chatting. It's um nothing too formal. I'm gonna walk you through my hair, my makeup, my outfit, and yeah, it's gonna be a good time. So make sure you grab something to drink, grab a snack. I've got some coffee, and let's get into it. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I did want to mention how I did my hair as well. Um, when I just want to look very polished and um, I just want to do something nice with my hair but I don't have time like this morning, I actually love slicking it back in a bun but I actually like to use a hair mask rather than hair gel. So I have, I currently have the Briogeo Be Well Organic Cold Pressed 100% Castor oil. Uh, you don't have to use this specific brand. I've used castor oil for years um, and I just put this right at the scalp and really work that onto my scalp. Um, that This will just help with promote hair growth and um, they actually just sent this to me. So that's what I have at my scalp. And then one of my favorite hair masks is this Numa New Moisture Intensive Mask. So this is a hairline that I've been trying out over the past, I wanna say year. I actually completely used up their shampoo, conditioner, and then I had like a leave-in spray. I loved everything, and I still have a little bit of this mask left, but this is the mask that I have in my hair. This stuff is so amazing. It's very, very moisturizing, and uh, it actually holds my hair in place better than gel. So this is like my go-to little like hair gel, but not. Um, and then what I do when I get home, or at the end of the day when I'm ready to take a shower, I just shampoo, condition my hair, and my hair feels amazing. So this is a really great way to kind of multitask, slick your hair back, but also, you know, do something nice for your hair. Oh my gosh, oh, it is. 5.37, I don't know if y'all can see that. 5.37 in the morning. All right, so I'm gonna do a little skin prep and then I'm gonna go make myself a cup of coffee because I forgot to do that. Um, all right, so to prep my skin, I'm gonna use my Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. I don't show this on camera a lot because I use this in my actual like everyday makeup kit and I don't wanna use it on camera because it is very expensive and if I'm not going anywhere, if I'm just filming, there's really no sense in using a primer. Um, but this is so lovely. I talked about this in my hourglass video. Um, I normally don't wear primers, but this one is so good. And it really just makes my skin look airbrushed. I don't know what's in here, but yeah. So I just take one pump of that. Honestly, you could probably get away with half a pump. And I start in the center of my face where I have the most kind of texture, larger pores, and then I just work it outwards all right and then I love to add the veil soft focus setting spray on top this is a really nice very moisturizing setting spray it's really nice I've actually never tried a spray quite like this it's not watery like most sprays it actually feels almost like a lotion on the skin it's really really nice so it's great for skin prep and the mister on this is so soft and fine I'm gonna give this a minute, I'm gonna let this sit on my skin and then we'll move into the makeup. And while this sits on my skin, I'm gonna go make some coffee. Mm. Just got two shots of espresso, so good. All right, so let's move on to the makeup. I'm gonna start with Beauty Counter Dew Skin. Uh, this is a tinted moisturizer. I am gonna be going in with more coverage. But I like using this almost like a primer. It's just a really nice moisturizing base. It has a little bit of coverage. So 
I'm going to do one and a half pumps, and I use this in the shade medium. All right, and then for actual coverage, I'm going to go in with my Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. I use this in the shade Warm Ivory, and this is such a great foundation if you need something that's long wearing, that's full coverage, that just looks airbrushed on the skin. This is such a gorgeous foundation. Um, but I like pairing it with something um, kind of sheer and moisturizing underneath because this can be a little bit dry for me if I don't um, make sure that my skin is nice and prepped. So uh, just in case if you have a drier skin type, definitely prep your skin um, with you know whatever kind of moisturizer, just something, even like an oil or something to give the skin some slip because this foundation can be a little bit dry. And then I'm gonna take my Alima Pure Foundation brush and just blend it out. And then I'm just gonna take a damp sponge. I'm gonna spray a little bit of this Veil setting spray on the sponge. Just love the way a sponge with a little bit of that spray blends out the foundation because it just adds a little bit more moisture as well. And I'm just going to blend everything out. Alright, and then just for a bit of concealer on the under eye, I'm going to take the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Concealer in the shade Cedar. I know I'm using a lot of Hourglass today, but I just feel like their products just wear so well. They're very, very reliable. And I just realized my air conditioning was on and that was probably very loud. I'm gonna go turn that off. Sorry about that, I'm sure that was really loud. Probably The mic was probably picking that up. All right, I'm gonna do some cream contour. I'm gonna take my Danessa Myricks Balm Contour in light two. All right, and then I'm going to go and set my face down with the Hourglass uh, Veil Setting Powder. And I'm actually going to use my damp sponge to press the powder into the skin. And I am going to be wearing glasses today, so I'm going to be... A little bit more heavy with the powder. I'm actually going to apply quite a bit right there and just let it sit for a second because um, that's where my glasses touch my nose and that's where makeup always comes off my face but this will help out a little bit and then I'm also going to put a little bit right here because the glasses I'm wearing are actually quite large and they touch the top of my cheek. All right, I'm just going to take a Real Technique setting brush and just dust that, all that extra powder away. All right, so for highlighter, I'm going to use my Danessa Myricks Lightwork Palette. I'm going to take my favorite little trio here. And then for my second bronzer, I'm going to take my PYT Bali bronzer. This is in the old packaging. And I'm going to take it on my favorite Refer 22 brush. Alright, and then for blush, I'm going to use my Shantikai Cheek Shade in the shade Grace. It's the little sea turtle one. And I'm going to take it on a Refer 04. I'm just taking my setting brush that has a little bit of leftover powder on it and just kind of blending out these edges so they're not so harsh. Alright, so just filled in my brows with my Benicos brow pencil. And then I'm actually trying out a new brow gel. I used this the other day and it actually had really good hold. 
So this is the Florence by Mills Tint and Tame Brow Gel, and I have it in the shade Clear. And it's got this really tiny wand. Um, but yeah, it actually had really good hold. So I'm going to try it again today and see how she goes. I'm actually playing with quite a few Florence products. I've got their skin tint and their concealer, which I've used before and talked about before. But um, I have their Bouncy Cloud Highlighter now, their Cheek Me Later Cream Blush, and then a gloss. So I've just been kind of playing around with some of their products. And I was actually very impressed with this brow gel. Alright, so for the eyes, I'm going to keep it pretty simple because I am going to be wearing glasses, so I don't want to do a whole lot on the eyes because it'll just, you're not going to be able to see it anyway. But I thought I would just do a little bit of liner just to define my eyes, and um, I love doing a little bit of a wing when I wear my glasses. So I'm going to take this Fit Glow eye pencil in the shade Bronze. And actually, I'm going to add a little bit more powder to my lids. I'm just going to take this translucent powder. And then I'm going to take this pencil and just add a really tiny wing. And I'm actually going to take the brush on the other side just to find that a little bit. Just like that, a little baby wing. I think that's all I'm gonna do. Um, but just to make sure that this liner doesn't move around, I'm gonna take a matte brown shade. I'm gonna use this Makeup by Mario Master Matte palette. Whoa, wait. Okay, wait, this is matte seven. This is matte eight. I'm actually gonna take matte eight. Alright, I'm going to leave it like that, and that's it. That's all I'm going to do for the eyes. I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes, apply mascara, and then I'll be right back. Alright, so just applied a ton of mascara. For the lip, I'm going to start with a little bit of lip liner. I kind of want to play with a touch of color because everything else is so subtle and kind of toned down. So I have a few little lip options here that I kind of want to play with. Um, but I'm first going to do some lip liner. So I'm trying to decide if I want to use one of these um, ink velvets from Peri Para or Shantikai just came out with this new lip chic for um, it came out with their new flower power powder and blush. I think it's part of their summer collection, but this shade Capuchine, not sure how you say that. Um, it's this really pretty orangey red and I love the formula of these. So I'm not going to wear it to its max intensity, but I just thought like a little hint of that might be pretty. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. I've been loving just a nude brown liner with a pop of color, just kind of sheared out, almost like a stain. I've been really, really liking that on the lips. But yeah, that's a winner. Love that. All right, so these are the glasses that I'm gonna be wearing today. I will make sure to link them below. They are my favorite. They're quite large, like I mentioned, so they touch the top of my cheek and then they touch my nose. That's why I added a little bit of extra powder there. But I also wanted to show you what I'm wearing today. So I'm wearing this bodysuit. This is a gray bodysuit from H&M. It's super comfortable. It's nice. It's got that ribbed kind of texture to it. And then I'm just wearing some high-waisted denim and my favorite blazer, which is also from H&M. So I think the gray bodysuit and the denim make this more casual, but it's still very nice, chic, put together with the blazer and the boots. So, And then the sleek bun, I think, also kind of adds to the whole kind of chic, sophisticated vibe of this look. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that this was just a nice time for you to relax or... Even if 
you did your makeup with me. I hope you enjoyed this. Remember, I love you, God loves you, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys. Broken roses.